journal reader. So we'll see right here, journal reader. I select that and it's going to give me all the information about the current project that I'm in. And you can see there's lots of super exciting stuff in here and I've been scrolling for 20 minutes and there's all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> so a lot of things can be found in the journal. But we also have the ability to filter because that makes life a little bit easier. So maybe I only want the errors. So I select errors and now it shows me the errors. So now I can get directly to what I'm looking for and be more specific with what I want and I can move on from there. I go back to all. One of the other cool things is we can do find text. So I'm looking for, uh, let's see, release. No, let's say 18. Should be lots of things to say 18. So I want to go from where I am down. I say okay. And you can see that it's now here. I say okay. It's now here. I say okay. So basically it'll sort through each thing that you've asked it for in the order that you want. So I want to go from the beginning from where I am down, from where I am up, and it will sort through the journal file in the order that you asked, showing you the information that you requested from it. So again, it's a really good way that if you're working with journal files, again, not everybody's going to be, but if you are working with journal files that you can slice and dice the information the way that you want and be able to see it. Uh, I'm just gonna close out of this. And I'm gonna, Close this just to see that there is, in fact, a little uh, screen icon that pops into place that just says uh, Revit Journal Reader. So I'm not going to close Revit because I have to open it, but in theory, uh, even without Revit being open, I can select this and I have access to this functionality. File, open. You navigate to wherever you have your journal file. So I just happen to have one in place here that's different than the file that I'm in. And now I have access to all the information inside of my journal. So again, I'm gonna view all of my errors, and there I go. So I'm reviewing a journal file from Revit without needing to be in Revit. Um, that has nothing to do with the current Revit project that's open, and then I can slice and dice the information the way that I want. So it's very cool to think of it as like Notepad++ for your Revit journal file. So cool stuff.